Hi guys, it's Mrs. Millison. Welcome to the first video for Unit 1 in AP Computer Science A. Okay, so we're going to start with the basics. I am in Dr. Java, which is the editor we're going to be using, and it's the little J on your desktop, so go ahead and open that up. Um, once we get in Dr. Java, every, um, every file we make in, in Java is called a class. So that's the first thing we're going to call. Well, that's the first thing we're going to type up here. So we're going to type public class, and then we're going to give the file a name. Okay. I'm going to call this Unit One Basics. Okay. So all my videos are going to have a unit, Unit One, Unit Two, and so forth, and then an identifier of what we're covering. Okay. Um, so this will be the first line. Every single file in Java is a class file. Okay, and then I'm going to do a curly bracket, open it up, move down a little bit, and close a curly bracket. Your curly brackets are on the your keyboard this right next to the P. You're going to have to do shift. Okay, so you want the curly ones up top. All right, so you'll notice that Dr. Java, if I click, let me click off for a second. If I click at the end of a bracket, it'll highlight what in what the brackets encompass. Every time I open a bracket, I close a bracket, so I make sure I have my brackets closed. Okay. All right. Let's talk about naming our class files. Um, they all have to be one word. Okay. No spaces. Um, capitalize every every word, but don't do all caps. That's a little overkill. Um, it can't start with a number, but you can have a number in it. Okay. Um, so that's our naming convention for classes. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and compile. Okay, I'm going to compile this and I have created a folder on my desktop for AP Computer Science A for unit one and we're going to have one for every single unit. Um, so I'm going to put this in unit one. Now you'll notice the file name down here, unit one basics, is the same thing as the class file. They have to be the same. So once you've compiled and it's named the file, don't change your class name and vice versa. Don't go into the file and change the file name. Okay, so let's save that. Um, nothing's going to happen because we're not running it and there's nothing to run yet. I do want to um, minimize and show you the folder on my desktop. Okay, there's the Dr. Java um, icon. Here's the computer science folder. And in there is my, let me make it a little bigger, my unit one folder. And what we did, we created this Java file. Okay, dot Java. This is what we can read. And when we compiled, the compiler created this class file. Class file is what the computer reads, okay? So this is the one we'll double click to open and so forth. And if you ever have to email me your file, that's the file you're gonna attach, the .java, okay? I'll go ahead and minimize that for now. Okay, all right, so let's see. Um, inside of our class file, we can have, um, methods okay we're going to have lots of um lots of different methods later on but right now we're only concerned with the main method so we're going to do public static void main that's the name of the method string um square brackets which again is the same key as the curly brackets just don't hit your shift and then args okay don't worry about what all this stuff means by the time we get through this course you'll know what all this stuff means the important thing to know now that this is our main method. The main method in a class file is the method that runs when you hit run. Okay. You will have files that don't have a main method. They have other methods and that's fine. And we'll do that later. Okay. So of course my main method, all my methods have to have their set of curly brackets. Okay. So I've got my main method and anything I put in between these two brackets will run when I hit run. Okay, and my main method is housed within my unit one basics class file. I can put other methods down here outside the main method, but still in the class file. And we will do that. Just just not yet. Okay. All right. So the only things we're going to play with right now in our basics video is printing. Okay, because trust me, as we go through stuff, you're going to want to keep printing to see what your output is. Make sure you're getting what you want. Okay, so we have two print lines system dot out dot println okay and we'll open up with a parenthesis and what we're going to put in here is a called a string literal so our string literal has to be in quotes so we're going to say um welcome to apcsa 
and I'll put a little exclamation point and I'll close my quotation marks. Okay, so whatever's in between these quotes will print. I need to close my parenthesis. Open a parenthesis, you got to close it. And this is a command line. This is this will actually run when I hit run. Okay, every command line has to run has to end. Excuse me with a semicolon. Okay. All right, let's compile. And I look down here and it says compilation complete. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay, I didn't get any errors, and we'll talk about errors in another video. And I'm going to hit run. Okay, so there we go. I just printed out welcome to APCSA. Okay, so that's just one line. All right, let's do another one. Let's do system.outprintlin. Um, let's see, what do I want to say? Um, I hope you like um, learning to code exclamation point why not right shut, uh, shut the quotes shut the parentheses put my semicolon and let's compile and then we'll run this and now i've printed welcome to ap computer science a i hope you like learning to code okay so there's my two that's that's one type of print statement okay another um print statement is um print not print lin or print ln okay system dot out if i just do print okay um be sure to code every day double exclamation points for that one now this will print let's compile but if you'll notice what happens let's after we run it my cursor is at the end of the line okay so when i printed this statement my cursor stayed at the end of the line so what this ln means means print but then move down to the next line so welcome to apcsa printed since it's print lin and it moved down to the next line then it printed i hope you like to learn to code and then it moved down to the next line well this one once it printed it didn't move down to the next line okay so my cursor is kind of sitting up here and you'll see later on when we do um, like scanner inputs, you, you're going to want the cursor next to the code that you next to this um, string literal that you just printed. So there will be times when it's beneficial to have print versus print lin, and, and we'll see that as we go. OK, I think this should be print lin. Let's change this to print. I want welcome to APCSA. I hope you like learning to code all on one line. Because now if I've changed it, this will print and then my cursor will stay there. And then this will print, then it'll move down to a next line. This will print and it'll move down to a next line. Okay, so let's compile and look at that. So welcome to APCSA. Since it's just print, it, the cursor didn't move down. And then it printed the next line. But since that's a print lin statement, it did move down to the next line. Be sure to code every day. Print lin, move down to the next line. Okay, I, I need to fix this. I can't have my I right next to my exclamation. So I can either add a space after this exclamation point or add a space before the I. It doesn't really matter. And again, when we're coding, one might be more efficient than the other. I'm going to add a little space right there. Okay, add it within the quote so it'll it'll add, it'll type that space. It'll print that space. Okay. Okay. So now I've got my space. All right. Okay, I think the only other thing I want to show you in here is how to print an empty, how to print a blank line. Let's say I don't want these two lines of text right one after the other. I want a blank line here. I want this, I want some space here. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do system. Oh, actually, doing just this, would this print an empty line? Let's look. Okay, so you know it doesn't, okay? Spacing is irrelevant in, in Java. I could literally code all in one line. This bracket doesn't need to be down here. This bracket can be there. This line can be right next to it. I can literally do all my Java, docu my Java, um, Java, uh, whatever class documents all in one line. So spacing doesn't matter to the code. It matters to us when we read it. That's why we do spacing, okay? Um, let's do, I'm going to do a print link because I want it to go down. And I'm just going to do nothing, nothing inside of it. So it'll print nothing, but at least it'll go down to the next line. Okay. Because that's what I want. Okay. So there we go. We got our first two lines with our added space. Thank goodness. Um, a blank line. 
which is right here, and then our last line of code, okay? Okay, I think that's it for our basics. I always like to clean up my, my document, get rid of some of these spaces, okay? So I have my main method nice and um, concise and efficient, and then I'm gonna get rid of some of this space so my um, class file code. So now my code's a little more cleaner, okay? Uh, nothing's going to happen if you leave those spaces in, okay? But I just think this looks a little nicer. Okay, that's it for our first lesson. I hope you enjoyed it.